Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all here with me today. So today is Monday and I'm going to be announcing the giveaway winners for my four prizes that I'm giving away on my channel. Um, I did the video last Friday and I gave you guys uh, over the weekend to enter the giveaway. So throughout this video, I will be announcing the winner. So stay tuned for that. I used the random comment generator to pick these, and I'm really excited to see where you're all from and uh, where I'll be sending these prizes. So if you win a prize, please email me at relaxcutglue at gmail.com. I'll put all the info down below in case you forget. So yeah, let's play in my glue folio. So last week, I did some painty papers with the glue crew, and... I may or may not have shown my face. So if you have seen that video or if you haven't glue crew, head on over and see that video. But I wanted to use some of the painty papers in my glue folio. So I took one of my papers and I tore it up into like five pieces and then I doodled on it and added acrylic marker on it and just, you know, brightened it up and added some black and white to them as well. And so that's what I'm using today are those five pieces of paper that I tore up. Um, I used, I made the painting papers using my scraper tool that I'm giving away in my video today, as well as a large squeegee from the Dollar Tree. And it was so much fun. I could not stop making them. I only stopped because I ran out of space to put my papers and I did it outside. So that was really fun. And do you guys remember last week, I think it was last week, I did a glue book page where I had somebody diving into a coffee cup and I cut off that person's legs. These are those legs and I saved them because I knew they would be good sticking out of something. And so I'm having them stick out of this tulip and I really love it. I think it, <laughs> I think it looks really cute. And I like how my papers really pop. So it's a little overcast this morning. So my papers, everything looks a little dark. I apologize for that. But um, yeah, I just, I really like how that turned out. Super cute. So don't throw away your pieces if you have like little bits like that. Because those legs worked out perfect. And then I was going to put It's All Good right here. And now I wish I did because I really liked the the pop of color. Um, but I went with something else and that's okay. You know, sometimes you regret the decisions you make, but it's not that big of a deal. I still like the way it looks. Um, and I trust the judgment that I had in that moment. You win some, you lose some. And the only way you get better is by practicing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this glue folio. I'm super excited. I want to make a vintage one next and switch gears, which will be weird because I've been doing color for quite a few months now. So I'm really excited about that. Glue crew members, if you have not entered your giveaway, head over there now. You have a very limited amount of time to enter. It is in your members tab. It is a post, not a video. So head over there and leave me a comment if you would like to win the giveaway over there. I will actually wait to pick the giveaway um, for the glue crew until tomorrow because I know some of you don't see the members pages. So I'm going to extend that one more day. So if you're a glue crew member, head on over tomorrow morning, I will announce the winner. Okay. Speaking of winners, let's announce the winner for which one should I start with? Dun, da, da, da. I know you guys are just like, hurry up and say it. And the winner for prize number two is Christy Conway. Congratulations. Please email me with your address at relaxcutglue at gmail.com. Well, that was exciting. So prize number two is the coffee glue folio. So congratulations, Christy. I hope you are super excited to win that. All right. So I am using this uh, mouth from a Skechers ad. I talk about it all the time. I absolutely love them. And I thought that would look really cool. Um, when it's really bright out, you can see how bright my papers are and stuff. Um, and it looks really cool on there. 
So I don't always finish all of my pages at once. Sometimes I come back to them. There is a page that I started um, today in this glue folio where I needed one little piece for the bottom right corner. You'll see it, I'll, I'll kind of point to it. And I didn't have what I wanted on hand, but I know what I'm gonna put there, so I just need to cut it out. Um, but I have been so excited for this. So uh, earlier this week, or I think it was Friday maybe, Saturday, I was doing fussy cutting and I found this burger and this dude, and I'm like, this guy is going on the burger. And I posted a photo on my community tab of my fussy cutting, and I had Martha Stewart sitting on it, but she's not actually the person that was going to sit on it. And my friend, Malia, she was like, oh, you should put that dude on the burger. And I'm like, God, that girl, man, I, I wanted it to be a surprise. And she totally was like, if you don't do that, we can't be friends. <laughs> And I love it. Um, so, yes, there you go, girl. Uh, great minds think alike. I am going to put Martha on top of the Hershey bar, and I'm really excited about that. So, yeah, the second I saw this guy, I'm like, oh, yeah, he is going on that burger. Isn't that funny? And then wait what I put there later. Um, if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I had a lot of fun. Um, I So I cut out all these fussy cuts on Friday, I believe. And I was so excited that I wanted to work in my glue book over the weekend. But I actually feel so guilty working and not filming. And that's a struggle for me. And I know you guys all the time tell me, Nicole, stop it. Just play in your glue book. Um, and I need to, but I do. I get anxiety about it. And I did one page and I felt so guilty about it. And I wanted to keep creating, but I didn't. And so I saved what I wanted to work on for the video. And I'm trying to work a little bit more um, on the weekends for me. That's what, what I take the weekends off to be with my family. And um, I need to be better about creating for myself because I create because I love it. And it eases my anxiety. So I need to be better about that. So anyways, that page that you saw in the beginning that says when you're in the mood for nudes, and but they mean noodles. I love it. I used my painting papers behind it and then I cut her out. I found that image in a, in a Cosmo magazine. All right, so I put some lime green paper behind this because I wanted it to pop a little bit more. I didn't like the way the black and the white looked on the black and white paper. Um, it just didn't pop enough for me, so I just added some lime green behind it and then I glued it on. All right, let's pick another winner. All right, winner number two is Lisa M. You win prize number three. Prize number three is the two um, smaller stamp sets from the Dollar Tree as long as the, oh, as long, as well as the scraper tool that I use. So congratulations, Lisa. I hope you enjoy your prize. Thank you so much for watching and leaving me a comment. Please email me at relaxcutglue at gmail.com. All righty. I'm adding some more painted papers. Oh my gosh. I love painting papers. I love doodling on them. I love coloring on them. Oh my gosh, so much fun. And I used, um, for the black and the white, I used Posca paint pens. I have lots of different paint pens that are all different um, brands and stuff, but I really like the black and the white Poscas. I have a set where I got three, three or four different sizes in white and three or four different sizes in black, and so I love using those. They're amazing. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Okay, I'm not a singer. Um, but, you know, that song just popped into your head as well. And then I had this little sunshine that I found in the magazine. I'm like, I'm putting it there. I thought that was super cute. So cute. Sherman's in here snoring. He looks so cute. He's all just a little pile of wrinkles right now. I was having the hardest time getting that, cutting this right here. I should have cut this part out. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, but yeah, and then I'm rounding my corners. I rounded my corners on the medium setting of my corner rounder here. It has a small, medium, and large. And that little piece just did not want to come off. It was not paying rent. It needed to go. Okay. All right, moving on. So I decided to skip a couple pages there, add that. I have to look at it again, make sure it looks good, because, you know, <laughs> anal. Um, 
moving on. Now I'm deciding that I want to play on one of these little cards. And that's what I love about these glue folios is there's so many different things to play with. I have um, the paper signature that I can, you know, that we're used to kind of gluing on. Then I have the waterfall that I can glue on. And then I have these little glue cards that I can glue on. And it's just so fun. This is another piece of that painty paper, obvi. Um, but I was having so much fun. I was like, well, let's just try a few little things on there and see what I like. Um, I call it auditioning for the part, you know. Uh, I can spend hours doing this. You know what I really can lose time on? is when I'm putting heads, like animal heads on people or people heads on animals or whatever. I just laugh hysterically and I can, like every head looks good to me. I just keep wanting to add um, rotate different body parts. And it's just so funny. I just love it. So this, I left this in and remember this is sped up. I spend a lot of time staring at my work and sometimes when I'm editing, I'm like, O M G, just glue it down woman. Um, I do, I have to stare at it for a while. And that's why I came up with that, um, system where I talk about how if I stare at it for long enough, I obviously like it on some level because I'm still staring at it, trying to figure out if I like it. If I don't like it, I immediately, immediately I'm like, oh, nope, it's got to go. So that's why when I'm taking that time to stare at it for a while, I know that I like it enough. It's good enough. Glue it down and move on. And that's what I literally have to tell myself that because I could sit there and fuss with it forever. So I decided to add that little progress over perfection or is that what it says? I mean, perfection over progress. No, no, no. Just kidding. Progress over perfection. I thought that would be cute. And then, uh, cause it has, you know, some bright colors and I just like the quote. And then I was like, well, I want to add a little bit more. So I had this little word, um, that says art that's also in yellow and red. And I thought I would add that as well. And I just think it's really cute. And you know, what you could do is you could add, um, you know, blank paper on the back you could if you're using this as like a junk journal you could add um you know write something on the back add you know write five things that you're thankful for today or grateful for or a memory or something funny that happened or you know whatever um a funny joke you could put on the back you can do all kinds of things oh i love that i love the way my painting papers look behind that i mean not to toot my own horn okay let's do another prize Okay, winner number three is Debbie Young. You win prize number four. That is the large postage stamps uh, uh, stamp set and the two smaller stamp sets and the scraper tools that I use um, in my glue book. So congratulations, Debbie. I'm very thankful to you for watching my videos and I would love it if you would email me at relaxcutglue at gmail.com so I can have your address and send you your goodies. Thank you so much for participating. All right. Now this is the one that I talked about that I leave the little bottom right hand corner open. I need to add um, something over her shoulder right there. And I'm thinking I'm going to add like some flowers or maybe a smaller burger. You'll see here in a second. So I lined up that edge on the left. And then you can see there's a little bit of yellow around her. And you'll notice that with a lot of my fussy cuts. If there is a bright color behind an image, I always leave a little bit of that border or leave a little bit of that color as a border because for me, it makes my images pop and the more color, the better. So I had this, um, that little ketchup right there and I thought that would look so cool right there. Like it's dripping on her forehead or something, you know, I don't know, just something fun and different. Ketchup bottles are like kind of nostalgic. You know what I mean? Like when you think about those old glass bottles that you used to have to like shove a knife in or hit the bottom, you know, we all had our strategy for how to get the ketchup out. <laughs> so I was going, kind of going through and I found a red flower, um, which I like, I just, I don't know, it wasn't fitting for me there. So I decided to leave it and come back to it another day when I find the perfect image to go right there. So I'll do that on another day. And I think right now I am fussy cutting. Indeed, I am a word to go with the burger yoga dude, <laughs> the little guy doing yoga on his cheeseburger. Smash burgers. We made smash burgers for the first time this weekend and they were amazing. 
Basically, you take a hamburger patty and you squish it down super thin, very, very thin. Then you add cheese on it. It gets all crispy. And so you add a couple um, patties because they're very thin and it, it was very good. Um, it was a group effort. More energy. All right, let's do the last winner. Drum roll, please. All right, prize number one goes to Jessica. Jessica, thank you so much for participating in my giveaway. I hope you enjoy playing in your black and white glue folio. It sounds like you will. Please email me at relaxcutglue at gmail.com so I can have your Addy girl. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for participating in my giveaway, for watching my videos and being a part of my channel. I appreciate you all so, so much. I hope you all have a fabulous day and a fabulous week, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.